Please welcome Michael Bauman. Well, thank you. That makes me feel good because, as Jeff said, I was terrified when he said you have to sing something funny or lighthearted. And I was stunned silent for a minute, but then I looked at the Jeffs and I said, but I can't do that. I'm a very serious person. <laughs> and they looked at me and they said, no you're not. <laughs> and I said, but I'm famous for my songs of heartbreak and desperation. <laughs> and they said, no you're not. <laughs> and I said, but my audience clamors for me to take them to the emotional brink. And they said, no they don't. <laughs> And I said, but, and they said, no, and I said, but, 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 and they said, no, no, no. So I thought, oh, what am I going to do? So naturally, those of you who know me know I had to consult my cat, Whitey, who was my manager and advisor in all things. And so Whitey happened to be down at the Borgata for a few days that week. He's a high roller and he gets three rooms a couple of nights a month. So I hopped in my car and rent drove down the AC Expressway to um, the Borgata, and I found Whitey at his favorite goldfish machine. And um, he could see I was, you know, a little unnerved, and he said, human, sit down. He got me a drink, which was nice. We had our drinks, and then I told him my troubles, and he said, the Jeffs have never steered you wrong. You'll be fine. Then he got out his laptop, and he Googled, and he banged, and he asked Jeeves, and then he printed something out and said, here, sing this. So, you know, way he said it, so here I go. 